Hello, YouTubers. Alaska Prepper here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, about a year and a half, two years ago, maybe even longer, one of our community members introduced me to an Aladdin lantern. They sent me one. And when I opened it, I was like, what is that? And then I realized that it's an Aladdin lantern. I'd never owned one before. I didn't even know where to get one, to tell you the truth. But this is it right here. It's beautiful. I've used it for the last couple of winters, and it works great. In my opinion, this is one of the best, if not the best, lantern that there is out there. And you know what? Not only does it light your room really great, but this thing produces a lot of heat. So what I did was, is last year, I decided to buy another one to have a second one. And they were completely out of stock, and they didn't even know when they were going to get them back. So they just refunded my money. So I'm looking through the internet here a few days ago and I think about this I was like I wonder if Lehman's still has them on stock or has gotten them back on stock because I just finished watching uh, a video from oh goodness I forget their name it's a homesteading channel it's the big guy that always wears the hat with the very nice lady that's them I forget their name I'm subscribed to them but I forget their channel I'll leave it up on the right hand corner over there so you can go check out their channel because they're awesome they're a really big channel but they're really really good people all right, so I went ahead and went to Lehman's website and checked and see to see if they had them. And guess what? They have them in stock and not that many. So I looked for one that looked nice that I would like to have as a backup for this one or maybe to use in the house, you know, in case I need to use it. And uh, they had like two of them left. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and unbox it to show you everything that comes in it. And we'll have a little lighting ceremony and light it for the very first time. Now, this is what it looks like when it arrives at your doorstep. My wife already opened it before I got to it, but uh, I haven't even looked inside of it yet. All I know is that there's a piece of paper on the top. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. I'm going to take all of the components out and show you everything that comes in the box when you order one from Lehman's. Now, I always have to say this. I'm not being sponsored by Lehman's or anyone on this. I paid for this. I just think these lanterns are awesome, and I really wanted to get another one just in case they become unavailable again in the future. So let's go ahead and open it up and show you what's in it. You can tell a lot about a company when they take as much pride in packing their stuff as they do in the stuff that they actually sell. Look at that. I mean, I, I know it's just packaging, but that's pretty awesome that, you know, they take... We, we've, all, we've all been there, right, ladies and gentlemen? Where you receive something, you're excited to receive it, and then it comes in pieces. Or you don't get it at all. The one thing that I don't remember seeing is a wick. But maybe that comes together with a burner. But look at how pretty this is. Let me bring it up here. Isn't that just a work of art? Look at that. So there you go. We've got the base. We've got the flu. I really like how this one has a base. I really love this lantern because it's my very first Aladdin or Aladdin, Aladdin, <laughs> however you pronounce it. Lantern is beautiful and it was a gift, of course, from one of our community members. But I really, really like the way this one looks with the base on here. That is very nice. So this is everything that comes in the pack right here. Now let's see about putting this thing together. Shouldn't be very difficult. First, we're going to go ahead and take our burner out. And this burner is like nickel plated. Also, it does come, it does have the, the wick. And it also comes with a wick cleaner. This wick, wick cleaner here, I won't take it out of the plastic. I've already got one. It is very, very important to get one of these. They're not very expensive. And what this does is once you burn your wick or once you turn on your lantern and then you turn it off, you go ahead and just rub the top of the wick with this. To make sure that it's nice and even, that any excess soot or, you know, that that black stuff that, that gets stuck on there it comes off. That way it will burn even all the way around when you light it the next time. And this, ladies and gentlemen, in my opinion, is just as nice to look at than the actual base itself. Look at how pretty that is. And I mean, and when you look at this, take a look at the engineering. All of these little holes, they have a place. They have a part to play. And look at the knob. Look at how cool the knob is. I hope that you can see that. 
here's the uh, here's the top of it. So this is going to go in just like so. This is called a gallery. It says remove the gallery before lighting. So the idea is going to be that you're going to have your mantle already on here. And then once you light this, you go ahead and put the entire mantle and everything on top. Uh, and uh, I'm pretty sure that you have this attached to the chimney as well. I'm not an expert at this, ladies and gentlemen. I just go with the flow. But look at that. So let's go ahead and put this in here. Or put this burner on in here. And it just screws on. Very simple. So what I'm going to do before I actually screw this on, I'm going to go ahead and fill this up with kerosene. Right? That way I don't have to try to get it through this little hole right here. This is where you would normally fill it up from right here. Now I do have a little funnel that you can stick in there so you don't make a mess. But since we already have this off and we have a nice big hole there, we might as well just use this and fill it up the first time through here. And uh, let me go ahead and get a couple of paper towels and my kerosene just in case we'll have some paper towels on stand. This is the kerosene right here that's recommended with that. Now... They would rather you use their oil, their lamp oil. However, I can't get it up here, ladies and gentlemen. You know how it is with shipping oils and stuff like that over the mail. I really can't get it up here, and I haven't found anywhere up here that actually sells it. Today, I'm gonna, I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna go and check out an Ace Hardware in Fairbanks. Is the only one. Maybe I'll do a little video of that Ace Hardware. Uh, in Fairbanks because it's the only one and it's kind of old school and see if they have any because from what I understand although I've never used it before they say that it uh, burns cleaner and you don't have that residue smell in the background of the kerosene but today we're going to go ahead and use kerosene so now while we're waiting for this wig to absorb some of that kerosene and work its way up actually you know what let me go ahead and uh, bring this down all the way I don't know if that'll help or not, but I'm guessing that I'm going to leave it sitting there for a few hours and then we'll come back. Uh, between now and then, however, let's go ahead and place the mantle on here and uh, also the chimney, or as I like to call it, the flue. Now with the mantle, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure that many of you, if not all of you know this, but just in case you do get an Aladdin lantern that uses these kinds of mantles. You have to be careful never to touch the mantle with your hands or really with anything else. You really want to keep them untouched, right? Because they're very, very delicate. Now, I believe this one works pretty similar to the one that I already have. So let's see if this just goes on here. It's secured on there, as you can see. You can hold it. And then you have to burn the mantle in as well. You really want to make sure that you don't touch it now. We're going to set it right here. Let's put our chimney on. And it's just going to go right over this right here. Very simple. If you want to center your Aladdin name <laughs> right there, that's fine. You see that? That is really pretty. I really, really, really like this style of lantern right here. I think it's very nice. Well, before I take off for a couple hours, ladies and gentlemen, then again, you know, with the magic of the internet, we'll be back like this. But let me go ahead and show you. Remember I tell you that this is a wick cleaner? So all you do is this right here. Let me go ahead and bring this over here so it's close to you. All you do is this. Once you're done burning, you know, once you're done using your lantern, you just go ahead and put this. You bring the wick up. Sorry. You bring the wick up like this. At least I think this is how you do it. Correct me if I'm wrong. And you just clean the wick off like this. All right, you just clean it off. That way any little shards that may be on the top will get cleaned out. And then next time you'll start off with a nice even wick again. Which will burn your mantle nice and, <laughs> nice and even. Alright ladies and gentlemen we are back. And guess what? It's actually the next morning. By the time that I came back yesterday... From taking Little Miss Alaska Prepper to school and doing a couple of shores in town, there was sunlight out. There was daylight. So I wanted to make sure that I could show you how this would light with it being dark outside. Because with the daylight, it kind of ruins it, right? You really can't see how bright it is. So this has actually been sitting here 
for roughly 24, 25 hours since I last talked to you. So it's the next day, but that doesn't really change anything. I've got my flue here ready or my chimney with the mantle in it. And for those of you that don't know, it says on the instructions to have the wick about an eighth of an inch above this rim right here. I'm not sure if you can see it very well with the, uh, with, you know, how far the camera is from here. But you want to have the wick about an eighth of an inch from this very first lip right here, this little rim right here. And then it just says to go ahead and light it and then to put the chimney on. So let's go ahead and light it. And we're going to wait until the flame works its way all the way around. And then we'll put the chimney on. And there we go. And then we'll bring it up a little bit. And then it instructs you to go ahead and allow it to warm up for a little bit before you increase the wick's length upward. I'm going to go and turn off my light and put my computer to sleep. That way there will be absolutely no light in here whatsoever. And as you can see, it's pretty dim, all right, as far as the light goes, but we only have it up a little bit. I'm going to bring it up a little bit at a time so you can see what the difference is. As you can see, you can't see anything. I think that maybe you can see a little bit of reflection from the uh, chimney on my other Allen lamp, all right, but that's about it. So let's bring it up some. And look at that, ladies and gentlemen, that's about halfway. Okay, that is about halfway. And if you put your hand up here, oh my goodness, you cannot keep your hand up here very long at all. There is a lot of heat coming out of there. Let's bring it up a little more. Okay, that's about as high, I believe, as we can get it without burning the mantle. Now that is awesome. <laughs> All right, that is awesome. Now let's go ahead and conduct a small experiment just to see how much heat is coming out of here. Let's see how hot this really is. I'm going to grab this chimney cover off of my other chimney. I want to put it on this one right here. All right, we're going to let that sit there for a second. And I'm hoping that you can see this. Let me see. Yes, you can see this. All right, great. You can actually see the numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in front of the camera. All right, now hopefully you can see this. Let's see. That is reading 585 degrees. Remember when I told you early on that you should always watch this if you have it burning, just in case you have a cat or a dog or something that can trip it, that you won't come back to disaster if you're leaving the room, even for a minute. Now let's take a look and see how hot it is up on the chimney. Hopefully I can do this while I'm holding the camera. Okay, I'm, I'm aiming right on the middle of it. 261.5. Let's see at the heat that's coming from out here. 244. So you're getting 244 degree air, 250 degree, I guess you can say on average, from the chimney. But from the base right here, look at this. It's 646 now. So that's a lot of heat, and that's why you have to be so very careful with it. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you enjoyed this little video. I am very happy with this. This Aladdin is awesome. Like I said, last time I checked, they still had some in stock for those of you that are interested. And I'm not affiliated with Lehman's in any way. I'm just very happy that they have them in stock. And they also have some mantles, but I don't think they're going to be in stock till like June or July. All right, so uh, thank you again to our community member that sent me some of these mantles from across the pond. I really do appreciate it. Uh, one of these mantles, I'm guessing, will last one whole season. On the box, it says that they last around three months or so. But I think that if you don't burn them and that if you take care of them by not touching them or anything like that, that they'll last a lot longer. Look at that. Is that beautiful or what? And look at this. I mean, this will light my whole room. Let me, let me go ahead and move back a little bit. My bunker is not that big, so I have to move back. But look, this lights the entire room. All right, it lights everything. If that's the only light source that I have, then that would be just fine to light this whole room. Do you all want to see the little one lit up too? Let's go ahead and light up the little one also. 
All right, so my other one, I call it my little one. It's really not smaller than the other one. It just doesn't have a base like this one does. But the other one, I do need to trim that wick. That wick has been used and abused, so I do need to trim it. So let's see. I just cleaned it off. Let's see how it works. All right, so far so good. And let's put our chimney on. And I can tell that I do need to trim that wick because you can see that there's a little hot spot on this side over here. You probably can't see it, but I can. But let's see how far up we can turn it up before it starts turning that mantle black. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I just think that that is a beautiful sight. <laughs> and uh, I don't smell any kerosene in the air at all. All right. The only time that I've noticed from using this smaller one here in the past that I smell kerosene is when I turn it off. When I blow it out, that's when I notice that you can smell a little bit of kerosene in the air for a little bit. But I do have an air purifier in here and it works really well. So that's the only time that I can tell. But look at this. This one, I don't, I'm not sure if you can see it. But this one right here, you, can, you see the little black spot? That means that I got to get that wick trimmed. Or change it. But there's plenty of wick left in there. So I'm just going to go and get a... A really sharp knife and trim it as even as I possibly can that way it'll come out good but this one here is doing great let me go ahead real quick and show you how you turn these things off it's really easy okay I'm gonna show you the best that I can in these confined spaces so really what you do is is you put your hand right here right and then what you want to do is is you don't want to blow into it but you just want to give it like a puff like this you hear that? You want to give it a puff like that and it'll turn it off. Watch this. There you go. That's how easy it is. And now, let me see. You smell a very tiny smell of the fuel, but it's not overpowering at all. I'm going to go ahead and leave this one running, all right, so that I can finish doing what I'm doing here before I have to take a little Miss Alaska Prepper to school. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you enjoyed this and got something out of this. I just thought I'd share this with you because... Ever since I received this lantern in the mail from one of our community members, thank you so much again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really fell in love with these lanterns. I just think that they're beautiful. The only thing is, is those darn mantles are just not very easy to get. So if you can get yourself a hold of a good amount of these, I would do so. Even if you don't have these, it would be a great barter item. Having said that, have a great day, ladies and gentlemen. Remember to be good to each other. When good people do good things, good things happen. Remember to reach one, teach one, and repeat. If we all did this, the world would be a better place. And you know that it will be a better place. Or a brighter place. Right? <laughs> Many blessings to all of you and your families. I'm Alaska Prepper. I am out. God bless.